Ali Simpson's boyfriend DM me on Instagram and he said he wanted to fight. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AJ from the shop coming at y'all another banger, man. And I already know what all y'all gonna say. It's clickbait. It's fake. I seen y'all all under my last video, so I had to make this video only to clear it up, but to show what happened after I did what I did, and I was texting Riley Simpson. We all know that she's trending right now. Her and DDG had a little feud about one or two days ago, and I mean they haven't made any videos recently on each other, but the tension still there. Her subscribers are still going down. And y'all know yesterday I dropped the video and exposed the messages of me DMing Riley. I woke up just a few minutes ago, you know what I'm saying, got ready. And I seen my phone once I came out the shower. Riley Simpson's boyfriend DM me on Instagram and he said he wanted to fight. So now I know a lot of y'all are gonna be sacking me saying it's fake, like I said at the beginning, but I have proof, man. I have actual proof. It, it was it was like it was funny, bro, really. Like he is the type that just go like wow. Like you could tell he's new to the YouTube world, he's new to the YouTube life. You never supposed to feed in to the BS. Even if like some people say it was fake, it was scripted, it was all this and that, which it was real, and I have proof by showing her boyfriend being me about this situation. You know, supposed to feed into it. Everybody on YouTube knows that. And I was reading the comments in my last video, and a lot of you guys were saying it doesn't say active, it doesn't say the green dot. You do know I wasn't typing and like showing the messages as we were typing right then and there. That was messages that Ben had that I screenshot that she was no longer active. So, you know what I'm saying? I just had the screenshots on it. Well, she wasn't active at the time. That's why you didn't see, you know what I'm saying? That. But anyway. Um, we're going to stop talking and get into these messages. I know that's what y'all want to see, man. If you didn't know his Instagram, he does have a blue verified check mark. His name is T.Sid2. You feel me? And we all know who, how her boyfriend looked. But for the, those of you who don't, here's him on the screen, man. Yeah, uh, we see. Cool. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to expose those messages because that's really what y'all came to see. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Let me go to the messages right now. I do need a chop, though. Quarantine been beating me. Barbershop's closed. But like I said, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and put the message on the screen right now. Yeah. All right. Hey, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? Then I said, oh, you must have seen my video about your girl. And then he said, I haven't. But we all know it's fake. Y'all so dumb. With an exclamation point. I live with her right now. That ain't happened. I said, you can live with somebody and they can be doing stuff basically when you're not around. Keep your head up. You're just another cloud chaser. I'm going to tell everyone that that never happened and your video is going to get flagged down. Now, first off, didn't he say he didn't see my video? How you didn't see my video, but you're DMing me? You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he said, I said, uh, you sound hurt. Instead of second me, check your shorty. She the one that's all in my DM saying, let's not worry about him, gang. And you feel me? I'm from Chicago, so we call, like, people gang. Like, you know how some people call people bro or, like, my guy or something. We, we say gang, like the younger generation. And um, he said, I seen all the messages. You don't have to quote what she said. Like, bro, who are you talking to? Don't come in my DM telling me what to do. Don't come in my DMs telling me what to do, bro. Like, if you want to approach me, approach me. But don't don't think you learn nothing. You know what I'm saying? I said, you really sounded like a right now 99 percent of what's happening has nothing to do with you no way and that's the truth man like the ddg situation yeah that's his girl but he don't know what went on with that in contracts he don't know exactly what was going on because she was with ddg and zooted before he came around remember she said that once she got with him that's when a problem started so you know he just talking on his neck at that point then he said what you mean it's had nothing to do with me i check my girl's phone and i see her texting some nba young boy looking at nigga everybody say that bro. everybody say i look like yb Giannis. like come on bro come with this come with something new bro you know what i'm saying and i'm, I'm swell i'm living like I'm, I'm i'm good i'm not saying i'm living better than them clearly you see that in cali they swell all right cool but i'm, I'm living to a point where i'm swell for the age of 19 so then i said don't start with the bacon your swedish meatball head if you know me bro i'm a baker that's all we do in chicago we call it bacon some people call it treating roasting 
John and all that, but we call it bacon in Chicago. And then I said, um, and like you said, she texting some nigga. So you should be questioning her. Why are you questioning me? You just said she's texting me, you know? So why questioning me? Even though I'm the one that texts first. I said, I'm grown as hell. Don't come questioning me about it. Like for real, don't question me about a girl. You know, I'm 19, I'm not grown as hell, clearly. Just figure of speech, but don't come in my DMs questioning me about something that's going on when you could ask your girl that you live with, right? And then he said, you know what? I see through all the internet capping. It's gonna be me and you. And if you make another video, I will get your channel terminated. <laughs> with this video up, my guy. 24 hours if my channel ain't gone, you know. You're gonna have to hear from me again. I said, get up with me then. I'm on demon time. You feel me? It's on demon time. Check for I don't need a lot. I said, what's the fifth time? And I was playing. I bought her with me, I ain't leaving my mom. Bah, bah. I bought her with me, I ain't leaving my mom. Shoot her with me. I don't know the fuck if you cool with me. You say you. I ain't GDK, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, he said, I'll fly you out to LA and beat your little. I said, I hear you, gangster. Make that move. Come on, now. I ain't gonna even keep going back and forth with you. Make that move. You said you're gonna do it. Make that move. It's cool. We ain't got nothing money. You ain't got nothing else to talk about, right? But, uh, yeah, so basically that's what happened, bro, and went down. And like I said, y'all can see my Instagram. I don't got a lot of y'all. You feel me? It, it happened, my guy. It happened. And then he texted me and said, nice editing. Nice editing. Nah, bro. It, it happened. It happened. That's how you know, like, when you lost or when you, you know what I'm saying, lying and stuff, you give props and all of that. Like, you try to switch the whole subject and be cool or sarcastic or whatever. But, I, man, it can get anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the toxic type, but he brought that up into the situation, so I'm not I'm not worried, really. And then people say he's the D1 football player. The nigga stats are trash. But I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? This ain't one of those type of videos. I hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comments below. And I catch y'all on this. You've heard leaves. You're supposed to be standing still right now. Ready, set, go. Go, go. Go, go.